Hello everyone and welcome to my first ever Brawlhalla tutorial. My name's Coslix and you clicked on this video because you want to get better at Lance. And there's many ways to improve your game. The first way is just like reflect, realize your mistakes if you're missing your attacks, things like that. But that's more of general knowledge and you can find that elsewhere here we're going to look at lance combos which ones you should use in this current update in this patch uh you forget the patch numbers but uh you can tell from the date of this video and what moves should you be using with which characters so first off you're going to want to change your playstyle a little bit if you're jumping a lot don't do it with Lance. Lance is some very good aerial movements, <clears throat> but it's not really the greatest. It's not really at its optimal gameplay. It's very horizontal with difficult spacing with a lot of recovery frames. You can very easily get punished. And the best way is on the ground. On the ground, you'll be able to bait out people when they land. Uh, Grounded always out-prioritize aerial attacks if they clash. So if both attacks hit at the same time, grounded is always going to win. So what you're going to want to do is make sure you're grounded more. If your opponent's jumping, just nair a lot. But like, just reset the neutral game because that's really what's most important. You want to reset that neutral game because if you're off stage, you're going to have a really hard time getting back against good players who are going to punish you. If you try and stare back, things like that. So you're going to want to always win the stage, if that makes sense. Always be on the stage and let your opponents land and then punish. So which combo should you use when you want to punish? Obviously... You're going to want to get the most damage possible. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to really work on your combo starter, which is side light. Side light is kind of everything in Lance's kit. It is the first move that leads up into a lot of damage. And you're going to want to really practice landing the side light and knowing when it's going to hit so you don't miss it because it is punishable. But it is Lance's best move and you're going to really want to learn when to use it and how to use it. It's got 10 damage on Orion, and it's just a basic combo starter. So your ma most basic string is side light into side air. This is gonna work at every single health. Uh, it's one dodge frame if you do it perfectly. Just keep practicing this until you get to one dodge frame. From rank silver to gold, platinum, you won't see, whoops, you won't, oh, I'm missing, okay. You won't see people dodge it very often. It is harder to hit at white because side light has some variable force. So you'll, the user gets launched higher and higher throughout the health, as you can see. So optimally, you can use this anywhere but white. It's always one dodge frame. So if you just want to get, oh, my friend Dan. If <laughs> I said I was going to bed. Anyways, if you want to get some high damage, then you're going to want to keep using side light, Sare. It's good damage. You'll be able to kill with it at, I believe it's 180 on the middle of shipwreck. Let me try. You'll be able to kill with it. But as you get into higher tiers, yeah, 180, maybe 170. As you get into, yeah, it's 180. As you get into higher tiers like diamond, you'll often find people dodge it. So your best move at white health, so I'm pretty sure this works at zero all the way to near 100 plus, is side light into down air. It's a true combo. Uh, the down air does 22 damage, which is quite ridiculous. Those two hits is basically a 30 damage signature, which is pretty nuts. It's a pretty easy to land true combo, just side light jump down air and it sets up to even more damage. So I highly recommend this to any legend, like anyone who's just learning Lance, use this, it's a very good damage build up tool and you're gonna lead up into more attacks. So another string is down air into end light. This is two dodge frames and very, it, it's only, it only really works at white-ish health 
but this is how you're going to want to build up damage at early health. Side light down there into end light is two dodge frames. So work on just building up damage and as they get more and more damage, they're going to start like, they're going to start getting too far away. So let's go to like 50. You can maybe get some sig reads if they dodge up, if they go horizontal, side sig. The bot's just jumping, but you can really follow up and it's very hard to punish uh, the follow up. So you can do really anything that you think is gonna hit. The bigger the hitbox is, the better. Um, it really depends on legends. Uh, if you're playing Roland, the N sig is very consistent. Orion, same. Scarlet is the same. But if you're playing Roland, you'll also want to down sig if they start dodging down or horizontal. So just be aware where they're dodging and like try and build up as much damage as you can with it because it's a really good tool. And at white, you'll often catch people who even fall for another side light. So side light down there, side light nair, for example. Right? You can keep going. Right, and it's not that many dodge frames. I think I can get to four. I'm sure with higher decks, I can get to three. I think it's two dodge frames if you do it like really perfectly. I think I did that before with racks a while ago, but you'll be able to catch people, especially in gold. If you can land that side light down or side light, you're gonna catch a lot of people and you're gonna build up a lot of damage because you can go with the side air or you can go with a Nair, whoops. Right? You can build up a lot of damage that way. And you could even go another side light down there, I believe. Right? That's one dodge frame there, but you can get yeah, true. So it's really good at just building up damage and I highly recommend it to new users to Lance or people in the range from early diamond to silver. Just really work on building up damage that way. Uh, your next combo, which is very important, is side light into neutral air. This is a bit harder to land. You're going to want to use the neutral air directly upwards. Whoops, I didn't jump. Directly upwards, and this allows it to be true, because if I go, like, a bit more to the right, there's some travel, like, distance time, and I'm not going to get true very often. If you do it really fast, you will, but you, it's, it's easiest if you just do it straight, like, straight up. And it really also depends on where you pick up side light, because if I pick it up like really far, you probably won't hit it very often. But for the majority of the time, just go straight up. Just make sure you don't go too much. Like if you think of it as this is the bottom and this is 90 degrees, go at around 80 degrees. So a little bit diagonally upwards, but not, it's basically straight up. You can go straight up and that will also land, right? Anyways, this is a really good damage buildup tool for true combos that people are starting to dodge out of your attacks, especially at later health. So 120, it's very easy to land and you can't land the side light down there very easily. So side light nair is very consistent damage output and you'll be able to even follow up after that. We're gonna go over that later. It's a bit harder to do, but it's really consistent and really overpowered in this current patch. So, late health. You're gonna wonder how are you gonna kill. So, side light Sarah kills here at 180, but side light recovery is also one dodge frame and kills 10 damage earlier. So, if you do wanna kill, both side light Sarah and side light recovery are good. If you're on the side and you're deciding, I would go side light Sarah, but if you're in the middle of the stage, side light recovery. The closer you are to the walls, the more likely you should use side light Sarah because it's going to kill sooner. Like if I do that, that's going to kill. But if I do it that way, it's not going to kill because I'm a little bit, he's the jowl is a little to the left. But side light recovery is always consistent no matter where you are on stage. And if you're on soft platforms, always use recovery because the height isn't very high, especially small brawl haven. Like it kills very early, which is very nice. Uh, okay, so if you're diamond plus or you want to learn a combo that's really overpowered right now, side light nair to, whoops, it's a bit hard to do sometimes. Why am I not doing it? 
I'm actually missing. Okay, there we go. Side light Nair into GCN light. It is true for 7 dexterity and above. So make sure you have 7 decks if you want to use this consistently. It is 1 dodge frame if you don't have 7 decks. And I believe 2 with like Ulgrim, but I don't really know how many decks it takes for it to be 2. But it's consistent at almost every health until they get really low. But I can use it to even kill. I believe this kills it. Same as side light stare. Nope, it kills later. It's not as efficient as your other kill options, but it is the only true combo kill option on Lance right now. So if you can land this consistently, I would highly recommend using this because it builds up a ton of damage as well. The side light's 10, the nair is 17, and then the end light is uh what is it 20 so that's 30 47 quick mats but yeah 47 damage to combo it's very overpowered that's more than any sig in the game unless you charge brin down sig on spear that's 50 but that's charging this is straight out of a combo starter so this is really rewarding and if you can land this consistently i highly highly recommend it uh, so I believe that's it with Lance combos. Uh, there's a couple other ones, but like you don't really need to know it. Like side light into end light used to be true, but those are the ones you're going to want to use. And those are the case scenarios I stated before when you're going to want to use them. Next in neutral game, you're going to want to be very careful because Lance doesn't have the greatest aggression tools. The best aggression is probably dash jump Sare. So if someone uses an attack and they're jumping, you can bait the jump and you can land a dash jump Sare and you can even wait a little bit and like hit the ground, right? It's a very good move, but always remember to reset that neutral because if you can land the side light, then you can get a lot of reward. Always, always, always try and go for side light because it's the most rewarding uh, move on lands. But basically, if they're on the ground, you can aggress with Sare. It's not the greatest aggression tool. Always be careful. So if you're aggressing and they're just running and they're trying to bait you, make sure that they can't punish you. Make sure you're not missing because if they're going to bait you and you miss, then you've got recovery frames that they can punish you in and active. So be very careful. Don't aggress. I would, if you want to aggress, I would put a lot of pressure on them, but stay in a region where they can't hit you and you could potentially hit them. Because if you're too close to them, they're just going to hit you without missing. But if you're in this weird, it's like a very neutral region while putting pressure, you're going to often bait out their attacks and punish. So if they, if you like put pressure and then they attack you and they miss you want to be in that region where they're going to miss but think they won't then you just punish and you can punish using stairs or dares remember dare into end light is a good combo to dodge frames and also if you side there try and follow it up with an end light it's also two dodge frames but it's only at like white health so just make sure you're always following up your attacks um, I believe if you have less than seven decks, side light down into I think D light, GC D light is true. So if you do want to get a good damage build up, you can also use that. I just don't really use it because it's not optimal, especially if I'm playing Roland. It's not very optimal. So and it's a it's a bit of a harder input, but that D light is gonna do you 20 damage. I think. Same as the end light. So either way, you're doing a lot of damage. The end light just has a better chance of killing. And for team combos, it's very good in twos. Make sure when you're using the three hit combo not to use it too much in twos because if you use it, then your opponent has a teammate that can punish you while you're end lighting. And you got a lot of active frames that they can punish you in. So just be very careful and make sure your teammate helps you out so they don't punish you while hitting your opponent anyways i think that's really it with the lance tutorial don't aggress too much you can put pressure but make sure you punish them for missing or 100 percent know that you're going to be able to land the attack 
uh, stay grounded, win the neutral game, and try your best to land side light and use different side light follow-ups depending on the health. Uh, another trick, some people don't know this, is right when you hit people, they actually, your opponent shines a little color. So if I hit the Jala, you'll see like a little white thing. I think if I click on the game, I think you might be able to see it. Is it that whiteness, I believe? I'm pretty sure it is. Let me just double check. Uh, wait, maybe I can't see it. Give me a sec. I, uh, let's turn these all off. No, they shine like a little color. See that? That little orange is their health. So if you want to check their health while hitting, you can use that. Or just look in the top right of your screen. It's not too, too difficult. But you can see the color changed while he changed colors. You can see in the top right. So that's a little trick. If you need to know when to use things, you can base it based on which color your opponent is at. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you in ranked. And... Good luck grinding in ones. I hope to see you in diamonds sometime.